Well, Dave, what do you have to say about Sigma and the Angerics? It is definitely main event time here at Epic Studios in Norwich, England. We thank you for joining us, watching all around the world on Fight TV. And I dare say nowhere else will you see anything like we just saw from Sigma and the Angerics. All four wrestlers competing in this contest, having a bit of a stare down here in the center of the ring before it actually gets underway. All of their minions have retreated back to the locker room. Whether they remain there is, remains to be seen. They're probably all fighting amongst each other backstage. Yes. But Rosemary and Angel Dust here, a tag team force, which we have seen in Rise and Shimmer as well. It's the age old tale. The feud will never, ever end. It's heaven versus hell. It's good versus evil. It's the Angelics versus Sigma. And the action is underway. Rosemary throws the first shot on Aaron Angel. As Dust now firing away with a forearm shot. Have two legal wrestlers inside the ring. Dust, the former Angel Dust, before Rosemary kind of took her under her wing and uh, changed Angel Dust's ways, now just known as Dust. Big this arm drag here from Aaron Angel. This is the most formidable team we've seen Sigma put forward. Dust, the former, uh, excuse me, Phoenix of Rise champion. I she was the, the first. first, yes. And Rosemary, one of the most sought after talents in the world. Flipping neck breaker there from Aaron Angel, looking good here in the early going. Hooks the leg, but only gets a near fall on Dust. Quickly retreating back to the Sigma corner, makes the tag to Rosemary. Rosemary and Aaron Angel. Avoids that shot and makes the tag. The demon assassin comes charging in. La Luna, the masked tag team partner of Aaron Angel. Not much is known about this competitor. The mystery of the mask coming into play. We haven't seen much of Elga Luna in Bellatrix, only just exploding onto the scene. Oh, she's had some fantastic outings. And getting the better of Rosemary there on that exchange and able to take Rosemary off her feet, planted face first. Oklahoma roll here, only two. Rosemary back up and not happy. You can tell from the sh screaming. She got back to her feet. Roll up here, only gets two though. And again, Rosemary getting back to a standing position. And just throwing the mass competitor into the corner. This is Rosemary's first outing since suffering an injury in Mexico. Very well documented. We all know the story. But it was not as bad as originally thought. And Rosemary, oh. though she may not be 100%, wanted to be a part of Warriors Rise and showed that she has full strength in that arm, just launching her opponent there with that suplex and gets the near fall. And in the early stages of this main event, it's Sigma well and truly on top of the Angelics. Absolutely in control of the contest right now. And just a bit of reaction to what we saw a little bit earlier back in the locker room area. Bull Nakano joining Medusa and cheerleader Melissa in the training seminar class at Rise 6 coming up December 1st in Southgate, California. Of course, all the information about that for any female wrestlers who might want to sign up for that is at WrestlingPipeline.com. As right now, Dust going for the cover after delivering that kick to the back. Absolutely, a huge acquisition for Rise. I mean, boldecano has been out of professional wrestling for years and years now, absolutely retired. And it is a valuable opportunity for any female wrestler throughout the world to learn from someone like Bull Nakano. And 
right now, La Luna is learning exactly how much strength are in the legs of Rosemary. Pressure put across the back of the neck, as well as those arms tied up. Trying to get enough leverage to force Rosemary's shoulders to perhaps be against the canvas. Referee now going for the count there. It's a near fall out of it, but Rosemary able to get her shoulder up. We should also mention the other Rise acquisition, Chris Wolf. Yes, from Stardom in Japan will be a part of Rise 6 as well. And of course, before that, Rise 5 will be in Berwyn, Illinois on November 10th, the night before Shimmer 96 through 99 at the same location. Rise tickets again at WrestlingPipeline.com. Shimmer tickets for those watching around the world right now on Fight TV at ShimmerWrestling.com. Right now off the ropes comes Rosemary, grabbing hold of the chin lock and bridging forward, just snapping the neck in the process of applying the hold. Had all that momentum and now maintaining it with a bridge. Very painful predicament. And it's still the Angelics trying to create an opportunity and get back in this one. Trying to stay, stay in the matchup. And that will now not count as a tag. The referee did not see it, apparently. In British wrestling, it has to be hand-to-hand -hand over ah, the top okay. Rope. Well, there's the uh, lack of experience from maybe Angel Dust making her way here to compete. Mainly uh, competes throughout the Midwest United States. But now getting a great opportunity here at the side of Rosemary. They're a very dangerous tag team force throughout the wrestling world right now. Furious offense from Dust. Really laying in those stumps. Boot to the midsection. And cutting the ring in half, keeping La Luna in the corner of Sigma. And now just taunting Aaron Angel, inadvertently stepping through the ropes. Ties up the referee, he's not seeing this double team work behind his back in the opposite corner. As now Rosemary applying this hold, stretched up across the ropes. Well, come on, Dave, turn around. You know exactly what they're doing. Didn't see any of it as Rosemary dished out all that punishment behind his back. And now Dust going for the cover. Only gets two, though. Don't quite know the experience uh, behind La Luna. Of course, Aaron Angel, a veteran of women's competition throughout Europe. Well, no one really knows anything about El La Luna. It's a complete mystery. But perhaps uh, the more inexperienced of the two wrestlers on the Angelics in this particular matchup, just realizing how much experience Aaron Angel does have, perhaps focusing on the mystery opponent, the mystery wrestler under that mask, is a good strategy on the part of Sigma. Now we're seeing frequent tags between Rosemary and Dust. That's the first public warning to Rosemary. Uh, does Rosemary know what a public warning is? I'm sure that she does. This isn't the first time that she has been here at Bellatrix. Very true, she's a former Bellatrix world champion. And right now, Dust trying to cut off the circulation. But back to a standing position, gets the chin breaker on Dust. Can a tag be made here? She certainly needs to make that tag if she can. Double clothesline as they collide in the center of the ring. Now this is El Luna's chance. She needs to get over to that corner and make a tag. Get the fresh Aaron Angel in. Double count now administered by the official. Both women need to get themselves out of the matchup and tag a fresh partner. Aaron Angel's been waiting on the apron for a long time. Has her arm out stretched. Can the tag be made? Sigma tags and the Angelics as well. Flurry of clotheslines here from Aaron Angel on Rosemary. Big head scissor. And a house of fire is Aaron Angel. And she's in the match for the first time in there with Rosemary. She's had a lot of time to think out on the apron what she could do if she could legally get tagged into the matchup. Now getting that opportunity, sending Rosemary into the corner, and out she stumbles right into a bulldog face into the canvas. And it looks like Aaron Angel wants to fly. 
She has a lot of high-flying offense in her arsenal. What can she hit from the top rope? Big cross body, but too much momentum. Rosemary on top. Only two. Taking issue with the referee's count, but only two. Aaron Angel. Leg sweep. Able to take Rosemary off her feet. Nice, quick offense from Erin Angel. This is exactly what she needs to do against the larger, more powerful Rosemary. Can't waste any time here. Off the ropes she comes. Drop kick right to the chest. Rosemary flat on her back here. Could be taken out. Not showing any signs of life. Oh, I could be wrong. Good God. Just sitting up. The Demon Assassin avoids the kick from Aaron Angel. Waist lock, German suplex. Just launching her. Cover. Only two, Aaron with a shoulder on. Not a strong kick out though. Rosemary folded Aaron Angel in half, like a piece of origami. Absolutely. She's back on her feet, might be out on her feet. But still continuing to fight. Maybe going for another head scissors, but Rosemary trying to block the attempt and turns it into a gut wrench suplex. Good show of strength right there by Rosemary. Staying on her feet, avoiding the head scissors and able to muscle her over with the gut wrench. Sends her off. Head scissors attempt once again. Again, Rosemary staying on her feet, but planted head first. Modified DDT right there. Got right on her head. Looked like her neck just contorted inside, inside her body. And Aaron Angel looking to fly once again. Sending the turnbuckles in the corner. Waiting for Rosemary to get back in a standing position, but it looks like Dust taking issue with the referee right now. And misting. Right there, just blowing that poison mist in the face and the eyes of Aaron Angel. The referee didn't see it. Oh, man. And Sigma pulls here out the victory the here in this tag team Rosemary matchup. Dust. Sigma! Referee was tied up with Dust on the other side of the ring. Rosemary with that poison mist. Referee had to have, he didn't see it. He was tied up.